Okay, pre-clarking, we do mum's observations, take their bloods, um, run through what we, how we need them to prepare for theatre, um, tell them when to stop eating and drinking, maybe stop some medication if they're on medication that they can't take before theatre. Um, they often want to know how long they're going to be in theatre for, um, how long we're going to be in recovery, how long their stay is going to be in maternity, and answering any general questions that they've got about their stay with us. If it's your first caesarean, very often um, the surgery is about three quarters of an hour from start to finish. Um, if you've had previous caesareans, it might take a little bit longer due to scar tissue from previous caesareans, so maybe about an hour. Um, recovery is still about half an hour. When your baby's born, um, very often we will ask if you want to see your baby straight away um, and the anaesthetist will drop the drapes um, so that we can hold baby up to mum and dad because um, quite a lot of the time they don't know what the sex of their baby is um, and it's nice if they see rather than us telling them. Um, so we kind of call it a Lion King moment, hold baby up to mum and dad and um, and then once the cord is cut, we'll take baby over to what we call a resuscitator. Just do some initial checks on baby. Um, and then we'll take baby back to mum um, and put baby skin to skin with mum in theatre. Because we know how important skin to skin is for mums. Um, baby will stay with mum um, the entire t length of the operation until right at the end when we'll take dad and baby into recovery. Um, just so that we can transfer mum on a, onto a full-size bed and then they'll uh, join dad and baby in recovery. Some mums um, stay two nights with us. Some mums um, are ready to go home after that first night. Some of it depends on whether they've had previous caesareans and know what to expect. Um, some of them are just desperate to go home. <laughs>